What's going on, guys? Welcome to Beauty and the Beast. We went to sleep. We went to sleep yesterday and woke up, and it was like three years later. Yeah. Welcome back, guys. Beauty and the Beast. We're in a whole new location. Uh, are we? What is this place? It's been we've been here so many years now. It's kind of preposterous. Uh, welcome to Beauty and the Beast. I'm the Beastly Gamer. This is my wonderful wife, Kate. And I actually discussed this with her yesterday. Uh, we planned on going out today to see a movie that was really. Uh, a hot topic in, in media, and it's the new Joker film starring Joaquin Phoenix. And uh, we went and saw that, and we wanted to give you guys our first impressions. We just got back. Actually, we took our kids and, and let them ride some, some horses at the uh, fair in our town a few minutes ago. Yeah. So now we're back from that, and we wanted to give you guys an update on what we've been doing, what we've been playing, and starting off with this film. Now, are you a superhero fan? Yes. You like movies? The, the movies that have been coming out recently, like the Marvel stuff? Yes. Yeah. As far as the Marvel films go, what are like your favorites? The Marvel films? Mm -hmm. um, the new Endgame was awesome. Like, super amazing. You love Captain Marvel, don't you? No. I hate Captain Marvel. <laughs> Everybody hates Captain Marvel. She's pretty garbage. I mean, the fi her film was super lame, too. And just the character itself. I don't like the way she portrays the character. It yeah. just seems like feminism. Feminism embodied in some chick who looks mad at people and somehow was given ungodly powers. Anyway, back to the Joker uh, with jo Joaquin Phoenix. It's been all over the news because of, uh, I, I guess people have been using it for political aims and saying that this kind of film would uh, radicalize people or, or give um, give excuses to people who may have mental illness and, and people might go out in the world and do this kind of stuff. Let me just say this right now. I don't believe any of that's true, uh, especially after seeing the film. Uh, I didn't get any... Uh, vibes of that i just saw the joker and let me just say this joaquin phoenix yeah i've always liked him i liked him in gladiator signs all the films he's done in the past this man might be one of the greatest actors i've ever seen yeah uh you know i i just came home and i called my father you know he's down here with me in in, in the state and i told him i said dad uh it wasn't like watching an actor i felt like i was literally really watching the real the real Joker. The real like, Joker. Yeah, like watching what his life was like and how he became the Joker. Yeah, the crown, the crown, Prince of Crime. It, it was very uh, sad. In, in a lot of ways, it was, yeah, you did root for the guy. You felt so bad for him. It's like the opposite of Slumdog Millionaire, where everything kind of fell in place for something magical to happen. I've never seen that movie. You need to see it. Um, Everything fell in place for something horrendous to happen in this film. And there, there's a lot of talk online about uh, Joker being, you know, overly um, uh, violent. It's not. It's a rated R film. They do they do use gratuitous language uh, quite a bit. And I was actually shocked and uh, pleasantly surprised by that because it it breathed more realism into it. Yeah, it, it's like they it, didn't sugarcoat anything. It was that's how somebody would act in those situations. It was brutal with his brutal reality thoughts and, and uh, you know um with arthur which is the character's name uh joker when he was going through this stuff dealing with his mental illness oh, there was a guy sitting in the theater next to us and i actually read yesterday before i went to the theater that uh the joker was afflicted with a mental illness that made him laugh uncontrollably and um when the film first came on i knew this and the guy next to me thought it was funny he didn't understand until at some point in the film they did show that but uh it touched me in a really, really visceral way. Unlike most films. I think we were probably 30, 40 minutes in and I told you, so this this is amazing. It really is a masterpiece. It's extremely sad. It's extremely sad. And I do see the, the political aspect of it where uh, people feel like they've been downtrodden in society and they look to a symbol of screw the man and the Joker kind of he embodies that in this film with his mental illness and the things that happened to him. Like I said, this mo But it's not like that's something new. It's something that's just, I mean, that's who the character has been mm -hmm. since they came out in the comic book. So it's like, people shouldn't get so mad about it because they're just making a film that's so real to the character that we're finally not, seeing there's, it. there's never been one like this that, that yeah. felt like you're watching uh, the, the Joker. The real the Joker. story of the Joker. Yeah. I mean, if you go back to Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, Jared Leto, all these guys played a character, and we all understood how that character came to be, uh, or had an inkling of it. This film, you understand 
how the Joker turned into the Joker, but you you feel it as well. You know what he went through. And, and it doesn't seem like he's a character. It seems like he's that's real. who he truly yeah. is. And he you, can't, like... You understand it. Yeah. You know, your life know. becomes it's a like... joke. It was incredible. I mean, we're not going to spoil anything. I just want to say that Joaquin Phoenix blew me away uh, with his portrayal of this character. Uh, he always really goes above and beyond when it comes to embodying the, the, the personification of what he is playing. And I think here, it was startling. And the ending was fantastic. Yeah. Just epically fantastic. Uh, of course, this happens in, in the Batman universe in Gotham City, so you guys can kind of imagine the, 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 the connections there. But no spoilers. He played this role to a T. I, I mean, they can serve all. They they deserve all the accolades for this film that they're getting. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes. All the critics are downing it because of political aims and telling you that this is the movie for incels and all this crazy stuff. The movie's amazing. Only uh, you know what? We can't give too much weight to entertainment and falsities. My children watch films that have violence in it and cursing in it. Either nine or seven. And even our two-year-old, she's gonna let her watch it and it is going, that's the world we live in. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything for my children until they grow up and realize that I was lying to them about the real world. And you have to teach your children and teach people in general to understand the difference between reality and fiction. This is a fictional film based on a fictional character based off of a comic book. Mm -hmm. And and they made it Gotham City seem so real. Yeah. And so decrepit and, and I'm it's, so mad because I heard that this film is not going to be related to anything else. It's like a standalone, but it will do, I think it would just be so fantastic if they could start creating a world from this movie. I think it would be better than no one's. No yeah, one's world. that's what I'm saying. Like, this would be the most epic Batman, like, story, Gotham ever. story they've ever made well, and the, it's like the scary thing is like when you watch this film you start looking at it and you understand it's it's dated so it's 30 years probably before batman and it's 1970s it looks like and i was telling her i said you know this is the world superman lives in this is the world batman all the dc characters this is the world the flash lives in imagine the interpretations of these characters in this world in this world yeah in this uh, type of film it's real. it it felt real and it, it could have been named anything to be totally honest it could have been named uh, Loser. It could have been named Revenge. It could have been named something, anything like that. Because of the story what this man goes through, you feel for him throughout the whole film, when he's going through his, his situation where he's just trying to be a good guy and people just treat him like dirt and he starts laughing but he can't control himself and he has to hand you a card that says it's, it's a mental it's a condition. condition yeah. You just, the whole time you see him going through this thing where he wants to become this stand-up comedian and oh, it was incredible. I give this movie, I'm going to own this on, on Blu-ray, um, and, and I would just say that I, I give the, the movie an A. I give the movie an A, and, and as far as uh, superhero films go, uh, this is in my top two, uh, because it's a different type. It's not like a perfect film, but it's extremely good, and it makes me want to see more from him as a character. From this the, world, this, this writer, this, this director. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it makes me want more movies like this. It was, it was, it was a, it was like a biopic. Almost. Like it's like it's like how I felt for like the Avengers and all the like Marvel. I wanted more. I wanted more. I wanted more. Sorry, that was her phone. She, she's always messing things up. But it's like most of the DC films. I'm like, yeah, that was kind of crap. I don't really care to see anymore. Well, the only DC film I liked that was amazing was. Uh, well, Wonder Woman was okay, but Aquaman was amazing. So they, yeah, Aquaman I mean, was amazing, and it took it a while right. to get to Aquaman was amazing. That was really, really it was, good. It was good. It was a, it was just as good as Thor Ragnarok, just as good, if not better. It was awesome, um, in my opinion. I'm not gonna tell her she can't have her own. But um, what I'm would you give? I'm so deprived it? of my own opinion. What would you give it? Uh, I don't know. I'd probably give it a nine. Nine out of ten. That's an A. So that's. <laughs> I give it an A nine. A nine. That's that's really high up there. Uh, yeah, it was really really good. Don't if if you want to go and see you know a bunch of people getting murdered and laughing gas and Joker cars flying through the air. This ain't the movie. This is not you know Suicide all the tropes squad. that we saw we've seen in the past from all the old Batman movies. This is a Joker's coming of age story and how he got to where he is and now it's like even watching the old films. And it was so beautifully done. 
I think it was yeah, so it was good. it was shot so well in the colors and, and it was so awesome. It was really good. And he is like he's the this movie genre. made me love him as an actor so much more. Yeah, I, I, I want to watch something with him in it tonight. Uh, he was, I, I mean, I, I think he's one of the greatest actors of our time just because of the way he embodies a character and makes it his own. Nobody thought that anybody would be a better Joker than Heath Ledger. Yeah. If, if they made three films based on this character with the same actor and the same writer and director, Heath Ledger would be done. Yeah, he, he would. <laughs> his laugh is so creepy and it and hits you in the bones. Hurt. It hurts like, because oh. he... You know, he, when so he gets stressed creepy. out or something bad is happening, or sad. <laughs> and he you can tell to. it hurts his chest and his lungs because it's loud. And he's up in the middle of the night crying, but he's laughing. And it's like, oh my God. So I'm not going to spoil anything. Awesome movie. What video games have you been playing? Now, I, I know we, we went through a segue. Stand- yeah, segue. Um, go see the film. Don't listen to the to the critics. Go see it and make up your own mind. Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, but video game wise, we, we were on a long Call of Duty Black Ops 4 stint. I think we've got we had, to, we had to get in on the cheese. Cheese. Come on in. Come on in. We watch 402 Thunder. He's our favorite uh, Call of Duty guy. Um, you know the Stingray. Uh, we had the Stingray. We both had Stingray. And we played that for months. Yeah. All right? I just deleted 125 gigs of capture gallery footage today to make space on my PS4 Pro. I should have did it, but I did. And we played that for a long time, and uh, we segued from that into the Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh, closed beta and then the open beta. Mm-hmm. And of course, we've been playing Borderlands. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is done and over with. We enjoyed it. Looking forward to the next um, Call of Duty for sure. It's coming out in two and a half weeks. Uh, so, really? Yeah, so that's going to be nice. We, they showed a really nice trailer for it before the Joker. She thought it was a different game. She said it looked... It looked great. Like, she said, what game trailer, is that? Yeah. At first, it didn't look like a game. But then I looked at it again, I was like, yeah, that's definitely a game. Yeah, it, that was the campaign. So, yeah, I'm looking but, forward yeah. to trying that campaign if it looks really awesome. Um, what are your thoughts on the, the Call of Duty beta? Oh, campaign? the beta? Uh, it was okay. I'm honestly not really a big fan of it right now. Uh, the maps were kind of crappy to me. Um, the two-on-two, though, was really fun. I liked that when we played it. They have a, a lot of really good modes, to be I honest. Had, the two on two was fun, the, but the. They had the one, they had the two, two v two, that's gunfight, right? And then they have yeah. the 20 v 20, right? Yeah, we have a 10 played v 10. That one. And they had, two, they had a night mode that was really fun. Ah. I liked it. It was okay. You turn your gun sideways like you're in Boys in the Hood, start okay. shooting people. Because that <laughs> that's really how tough. it is in the. In the hood, you can't shoot straight like <laughs> this. Person shooting at you like, oh, you're shooting like a square. Boom, boom, boom. And that's how they shoot in the hood. Oh, is that uh, how they do it in war, too, at nighttime? Yeah. Just at nighttime, though. Gotta be Not inside. during the day. Turn to the side. <laughs> um, I liked it. I, I thought that it was uh, a, a new, fresh take. I, I feel good. I don't see people jumping around and doing the... Well, they know, were trying, but... Booty, yeah. booty oil four slide across the ground. Uh, and it felt... It feels much more realistic. The guns and everything seem to, to be heavy and... The way that you know you look down sights and down sight scopes, everything seemed to work a lot better. I don't think you're gonna see a lot of quick scoping. Who knows? Maybe Who knows I'll become a mean? great quick scoper. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. We played the Call of Duty uh, mobile too, and uh, oh yeah, I killed that game. Try it out, guys. You might actually the like mobile it. one is fun. It's hard to control, but I mean, it's I really was thinking fun. of buying like a little controller from my Galaxy S10. Oh, that no, you put on the side. Yeah, and, and it was fun. It's, yeah, uh-huh. if you get a controller on it, or if you're good playing mobile games. It does feel like Call of Duty. You'd probably like it a lot. And it has a, a Battle Royale mode. But the yeah. game that, that we've been playing, probably, well, we haven't played it all this week. No. But I have been getting our shift codes. Borderlands 3. Now, right leading up into Borderlands 3, we were playing Borderlands 2. Isn't that, we, we played actually, 2, but we played it so late. We started we, started like we a few stopped, months ago. Actually, yeah, we stopped playing Call of Duty to play to 2. To play Borderlands 2. Yeah, we stopped playing Black Ops 4, then we played Borderlands 2. We beat that, and we were halfway through beating it again when the Call of Duty beta came out. After the Call of Duty beta came out, Borderlands the 3 next Friday, out. Borderlands came out. Borderlands 3, we've been playing that. Thoughts? I like Borderlands 2 better. <laughs> I gotta agree. Uh, oh, I'm playing I'm... on the PS4 Pro. She's playing on the uh, PS4. And the gunplay, the, the way that the game feels, the way it moves, feels Different. less smooth. Um, it seems I like hate you get the menus. Um, there's over a billion guns, and you can tell because they throw guns at you nonstop. Nonstop piles and piles, and, and you all never crap. get a gun that's better than the ones you got. It's ever. like you never want to pick it up. You're wasting time. The menus are terrible. And, and the, uh, the, 
loading time to get into the menu and, is and ridiculous. Like using using your uh, particular um, character's skill tree is so convoluted now compared to the way it used to be too. Yeah, and and the maps, the maps like how you have to find your way around the maps or get to like certain. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, that, that's got nothing it's to do It's so irritating. Like I said, we haven't played it at all this week. You know, I, it's I like because I'm not anxious to jump on it. We played, like, we I played Call of Duty Mobile at the dining room table yesterday. <laughs> I want it. I want to beat it. I want to play it, and, and I want to like it. But it's like, it's so hard to like it. It's so hard. Is there anything you're looking forward to right now? <sighs> what do you mean? In games? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. The last part two? Probably. It's February, February 20th. But yes. there's no multiplayer. She didn't care about multiplayer. She was doing that to make a dig at me. But Neil Druckmann did say <laughs> it'll be its own game. It's going to be its own standalone experience. So that's even better. I mean, yeah, that could be. If they asked me right better. now which one I wanted, I'd probably get the single player. But it'd be a clo- it'd be a really hard choice because that multiplayer is still my favorite. My favorite. Of all I just time. hope this game lives up to the first one. I think it because will. the first player, I mean, the single player on the first game was like epic. Still one. Of, Probably my favorite game I've ever played, um, honestly, and I can't wait to play this new one. Well, I mean, uh, I think it'll be fun. Uh, I'm really happy that they showed Joel. You know, I knew it was him. Like so- as soon as I saw the hand, I was like, "That's Joel." I knew it. What if the, what if it was that dramatic chipmunk? <laughs> Just look at her. Yeah, um, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, they kind of gave away the story though with uh, Ellie's girlfriend. Yeah. So we already know what her motivation is. I'm going to kill them all and Joel's going to stick with her and she's going to go get revenge. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, uh, I, I like what they're doing on Twitter, showing Ellie girl from being 16 to whatever, 20. Uh, and I think that's a lot of fun. And also, before we leave, side note, shout out to Yu Suzuki from um, uh, Shinmu 3 fame or Shinmu fame. Oh, yeah. He, he gave me a shout out on uh, the, what was it, 60 questions on Game Informer interview. 40, 40 questions. 40 questions? Something. Yeah. yeah, he gave me a shout out because he said that uh, he loved my reaction more than every other reaction in the world. Shimmy. And the way he did it. Arigato. So arigato. Uh, the way he did it, he portrayed him great. <laughs> yeah, he, did, he said it just like me, so that was pretty fun. But that's what we've been up to, guys. Uh, and uh, we haven't done one of these in a long time. Uh, Kate has five other YouTube channels, and, and she probably focuses a lot less on gaming now on her YouTube. But uh, um, thank you so much. I'm for- not- that good at gaming. She's a liar. Um, she lies. She's lying. Horrible. I'm gonna start a Twitch channel. Worst gamer ever. Well, they watch it. They watch. She's much better than the other chicks on Twitch. They, yeah, I don't get naked. Not in front of the camera. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Go see Joker. Let us know yes. in the comments what you've been playing. What are your thoughts on Call of Duty? Do you play it at all? Are you done with it? Did you play Black Ops 4? Do you like Modern Warfare? What is your thoughts on Borderlands 3? Um, I I think we want to continue to play it. Maybe we'll play a little bit tonight. I wanted to, yeah. Because we didn't play it all week. So I was like, let's get back into it. Well, we got a few extra golden keys. I've been putting those in. I actually put in uh, some shift codes when we were in the movie theater. (laughs) Yeah, writing them in all quick. Getting them in real fast. So we got a couple more keys. But yeah, let us know what you've been playing. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. And... Let's pray that you guys see another one of these videos soon. I'm the Beast of Gamer. I'm Kate. We'll see you guys next time.